What up, folk? Tonight, it's a cretin in the kitchen. And it's not cooking. And it's not tasting uh, experimental liquors. Tonight is, I'm going to touch upon uh, retro games. or not that, but I guess they are that old. Xbox 360. Uh, I got the original Xbox in the other room. Before that, I had the Nintendo 64, the Nintendo fucking 8-bit, uh, the old lift it up, blow on the cartridge, blow in, blow in the fucking actual Nintendo. And I'll tell you what, it used to work even better. You take a little bit of swig of alcohol, keep enough of that fucking mist in your mouth, and you blow in that fucking Nintendo, work fine every time. You're basically cleaning the fucking heads or whatever the fuck. That old school flip it up, push it in, punk it down, pop it back out, take it out, shake it around, blow on it, blow on it. You wanted to play gold fucking cartridge Zelda? I used to be a gamer. Not so much now. These days, the only thing I really like to play is The Binding of Isaac with all the DLCs, the Afterlife and the Afterbirth and all the plus. The Binding of Isaac, uh, look it up. Same guy who made like Super Meat Boy or I didn't really play that one. I seen it though where like you try to get to the level and you can rewind or some shit. It's it's it was a good game, didn't play it. Binding of Isaac, awesome. And all the DLCs. They're available on all the Playstations and Xboxes and Switches and all that shit. But when uh the ex and I separated and the boys are back and forth, but at the house where she was at, or she's at now, they didn't really have a, a console that would allow like Netflix and the boys did still play the games and shit. And down the road when uh, the PlayStation 4 came out, they wanted to play like Little Big Planet and they wanted a system they could play Minecraft on like split screen together. And at that time, PlayStation 4, when it was brand fucking new and I had like a really good Christmas bonus and it was a good Black Friday deal, I got PlayStation 4 and they loved it. Now, the oldest is a PlayStation fanatic over here and the youngest went back to Xbox. That's cool in the game. I just want to play Binding of Isaac. But they brought back the 360 that no one recently they brought back the 360 no one's been using. It's been sitting there collecting dust. And I had to order a new fucking power brick for it because that went tits up. But my son, you might have saw in a different video, we went to a used video game store and he got a uh, Fallout 3 uh, disc for the 360 for like seven to eight bucks. And it wouldn't fucking, uh, wasn't compatible with the my youngest son's Xbox One, he's moved on to Series X. So I had to get a break for the 360. But that's cool because I got some 360 games here that I want to play again because I forgot how fucking cool they were. And what I'm going to do is I got the big bin here. I'm just going to take some out, show you what they are, say yay or nay, have this fresh beer. It's just going to be a, uh, this one's for the nerds. This one's for the video game guys. We used to call them nerds back in the old days. They made an actual movie called Revenge of the Nerds, which was great if you like uh, attempted murder and uh, rape in, in the name of comedy and have a lot of titties. You can't go wrong with titties in a movie. Any movie you have, throw some titties in there. It could be the blandest shit in the world, but hey, there's titties. I just read Sofia Vergara has a uh, like a narco style series coming or mini series coming out on Netflix or one of them streaming services where she plays like the the female version of uh, Pablo Escobar. I'd watch it if she pulled them titties out one time. She has lovely titties. And if Sophia, if you're watching this, stop being a tease. Hook a cracker up. Let's get into this. Now here's a good one. Back in the day, they used to make video game. Oh, did I turn that off? Hold on. No, that's not it. Well, shit, you're gonna get a little bleed over. 
They used to make compilations. That's the Midway Arcade Classics. Now, these games predate back to the uh, Nintendo 8-bit. You got shit like Spy Hunter, Defender, Gauntlet, Joust. Joust is the shit. Uh, Paper Boy. Driving down the street, throwing fucking papers in the windows and knocking shit over and fighting the Grim Reaper. Smash TV, one of the first, I think, greatest double fucking uh, analog sticks. This one moves, this one shoots. What was the one? Oh, oh shit. It was kind of like the announcer for the guy from fucking Robocop. I buy that for a dollar! can't remember what the catchphrases were, but it was like, big money, win prizes. And a bunch of other ones on here, like 720, that's a skateboard one. Marble Mad, or Marble Madness, that's where you're trying to get a marble through some shit. This was a good one. Now this is one I want to play once this, this brick for the 360 comes. I can play it on the old Xbox, which I still have, which has the, the green logo on the, it was a first generation Xbox. Well, it was and is. It's still sitting there physically in the world, but Def Jam Fight for New York. This game was a, just an old school fighting game. It had a bunch of hip hop fucking. Oh, here, I'll, I'll give you some names. You have Bone Crusher, Bubba Sparks, Buster Rhymes, Capone, Carmen Electra is a side piece. Uh, Crazy Legs, Danny Trejo is in here. David Banner. Yeah, I'm DJ and uh -huh. Eric Sermon from EPMD. Fat Joe, Flavor Flav, Ghostface Killer. Henry Rollins from the punk scene. Black Flags. Ice T, which for some reason they made Ice T like this fucking jacked ass fucking gargantuan MMA fighter. Joe Budden, Kamora Lee, she's an R side piece. Ludacris is in here. Mac Tegan. Matt Tingen. Method Man. Scarface. I'm going with ones that I... Slick Rick, Snoop Dogg. Ones that I like. Uh, Warren G. Dub C. Exhibit. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Here's Brutal Legend. It's Jack Black. It's, it's a... I like it. it. I don't know if it had to great reception when it came out but it's if you see videos where they go decapitation that's this jack black right here it's it's a, got a variety of different racings and fightings and strategy it's one of the, it's a good one if you're in the, the mood for it oh oblivion the elder scrolls four four the Game of the Year edition. What some folks don't know is the Elder Scrolls is fucking Skyrim. They forget that the Elder Scrolls has been around for a long as the first one I played on uh, the original Xbox was Morrowind, and that was like number three. There was like two more before on the PC exclusive only because you didn't have fucking consoles like the. Xbox One or the, the Xbox Original and I the PS2 at that point or PS3 Probably PS2 Great game great game good visuals for the For the uh, hardware at the time great visuals Loved it played it all the way through I even had one of those they used to have these things called uh, cheat books or there are book, actual book books you could buy at a bookstore when they had bookstores. They're made out of paper, and it was awesome. You had to turn these pages. You just didn't fucking scroll through, and it smelled like paper, and it was awesome. I had a book like that thick to show how to get into all the factions, all the side quests, all the hidden shit. That game was chock full of just all kinds of extra content, and these, uh, they're no, they were called uh, walkthrough guides or just guides. They were awesome. You could play it on your own, and when you got to a point where you're like, oh, 
Well, is there more shit to do? Aha! There's more shit to do. Now this one here is DJ Hero 2, which means I had DJ Hero 1, which means I had the DJ Hero still in the other room. Probably still works. Once I get this power brick, I'm going to see if it works. Like Guitar Hero, where you had, you know, the little the, the little buttons and the dick, 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 dick bullshit. Well, DJ Hero had a turntable with the buttons, and you did the same thing, but in a DJ setting. I have actual real Technic 1200, nah, Technic 1200 turntables that are probably 20 years old, still work. Needle, vinyl. I'll occasionally get on there and give a little. I'm not anywhere near competition level or fucking. Uh, I have rocked a couple house parties back in uh, California back in the day. I've made songs. Nothing spectacular, great, or noteworthy, but there's a couple on my channel which I made all the way by myself. If you want to go check those out, that's up to you. Here's the original Dead Rising. Looks like some kind of fucking, like a dog chewed on it. That was a good game for uh, crafting weapons and the sheer number of zombies you could just run through and fuck up. Now this one here. This is a disc that used to come with a magazine it was called, it was this Xbox Magazine. Back when magazines were a thing, when you had subscriptions, and like once a month, you younger folks won't know about this, once a month they'd send you a magazine, like some magazines were music magazines, they'd send you a mixtape of all kinds of cool artists you never heard of. Uh, I think it was CRT or CMT, not country music, but CRT maybe, I don't know, it was just magazine that sent you like across the board yeah country alternative fucking rock rap it was a great magazine well xbox had their own magazine they send you one of these every month look how thin that fucker is and it would have playable demos like i said right here it would have playable demos it would have like uh trailers and shit back when Life was cool. It was cool back then. Now you got Xbox, or not Xbox, but YouTube and all this shit. You just fucking tune into everything all the time, and there's no fucking surprise, and there's always spoilers. And I'm sure they'll spoil fucking Deadpool 3 before it comes out with all the goddamn cameos. And I'll look, because I like to look at the spoilers. I'm not going to lie to you. I couldn't give a fuck less if I know the story before I go in, because I haven't seen it. I might know the story, but I haven't seen it. Big Mother Truckers. This one I don't recall. I don't recall. So I'll put it to the side. And his even older Xbox magazine, when they put him in fucking paper sleeves, you didn't even get a goddamn uh, box for it. This was for one called The Outfit. It says, The Germans will not easily be defeated. Uh, so I assume it's like a Call of Duty predecessor or ripoff. This was a Burger King tie in. Sneak King. It's the Burger King King uh, in, in stealth. I don't believe I played that one. It was a gift, and I don't think I ever got around to playing it. But this one here, if you grew up in the days of my days, back in uh, when arcades were a big thing, and Dragon's Lair, the cartoon video game was out. That's what, mid to early 80s? Well, on Xbox original, they had Dragon's Lair 3D, which for the first time, you could actually, it looked like a fucking cartoon, you know, cell shading and all that shit. You could actually play, there's a name, Dirk, Dirk the Daring, or Dirk the Daring. 
you can play as Dirk the Daring. You know, it's like you're actually playing the act, the fucking, the original game was a point and click. You had a joystick, you had a button. You had to, it would like do a little light thing. You had, ah, that, it was a time thing. You had to go this way or this way or hit the button at the right time or you died and in like three seconds. It was like one of the first dollar video games or 50 cent video games. One of the first times it was more than a quarter in my recollection to play a game. You had to put like 50 cents or a dollar and you were done in like three moves until everyone memorized it and they got to know it. I never did memorize it so I didn't even try it. But this one, I like it because you could actually like, it was like playing the real game of the old game where you had to uh, throw all your allowance in to have 25 seconds of gameplay. Original DJ Hero. Again, if I can get that fucking, it's in there. If that thing still works, I'm gonna give that a go. Now I don't recall this one. I recall the franchise, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. Again, a, like a precursor to your Call of Duties. That might have been something the boys picked up, because I don't recall it. This was Skylander's Spyro Adventure. This was a thing where they came with a little uh, add-on, a little, like a little light disc, and you could buy individual character pieces, little statues, and you put it on there and it would suck it into the video game. It was a cool concept. I don't know if it, what happened to it. Well, you know Guitar Hero. Lord of the Rings. I don't know if I ever actually tried this one. And Guitar Hero's rival Rock Band. I guess someone got Green Day and I don't believe I played that one. Oh, I don't know. What the fuck is this? I might have to get one of them guitars now. The Beatles Rock Band. This was not originally in my fucking collection. Chess Master. I wanted, I already knew chess, but I didn't know chess enough. And I thought, well, let's get, it was like five bucks. Let's get Chess Master. And I played it for about three days and realized that I am mentally retarded and will never be a chess master. It is what it is. I believe this was a Xbox, original Xbox original uh, debut, what they call that shit? It's a debut. I believe this came out the first day the Xbox came out. The Xbox, Xbox, the green one. Shrek. Not sure I ever played it. I think my girlfriend, my girlfriend at the time bought it for me. To be a completist of the five or six games that came out the day Xbox came out. Another Guitar Hero clearly chewed on by a dog or a cat. The disc is still good. Deadpool. My son bought this one right before the Xbox went over to her house when we were all still a unit. I watched him play it. I haven't played it myself. Interesting. I might play this once I get the power brick. Outlaw Golf. I did like Outlaw Golf. Because I go back all the way to Nintendo uh, 8-bit with the Arnold Palmer. I like golf games. Even though I don't golf myself. They're They're interesting. Halo 3. I'm not even going to fucking touch on that. It's fucking Halo. Come on now. Oh, here. Three more Xbox Magazine trailers and levels. Brute Force. I did not play this yet. It was a it was a gift from 
my sadly uh, deceased ex-brother-in-law, great guy, his name was Seth. That guy had nothing but love in his heart and uh, a big man and cut down before his time. It is what, uh, very schizophrenic. He didn't take his drugs. He uh, was all over the place. But when he, had, when he took his medication, just the gentlest, kindest, biggest hearted man in the world, miss him a bunch. Still think about him from time to time to time. Seth. I'm not going to get the last name. You don't need to know that. Good guy. Th ah, this one I got. Uh, it's another Def Jam uh, fighting game. I guess it's a rhythm game because I didn't really get into it. I tried it once. But, of course, at that point, I was shit box hammered. So I had no rhythm going on in my hands. And it just pissed me off. Now, here's one people fucking love or hate Duke Nukem Forever I got through most of it I got to a point where I couldn't fucking it was like a big ass spider thing and I couldn't beat it it was like five bucks not a big deal Hellboy the Science of Evil not even sure where that came from not sure I even played it That's just some loose Xbox magazine games. Oh, the good old Lego games. Lego Indiana Jones. Loved it, beat it, unlocked everything. Condemned, Criminal Origins. I don't remember this one. I'd kind of like to try that one again because I don't know where it came from. Looks like a CSI. And here we got Grand Theft Auto 4. I don't got to cover that. You, you know Grand Theft Auto or you don't. Assassin's Creed Original. I started playing it and lost interest. I don't know why. Saints Row 2. Love the Saints Row franchise. I don't think I ever played Splinter Cell Double Agent. But I played a lot of Splinter, uh, Splinter Cell. Well, here's the original Splinter Cell Chaos. There, original or second one. Love that. Here is something called Pocket Bike Racer. It's another one of those uh, Burger King ones that came out at a point. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the Xbox Collection. A lot of great games in here. But I just don't remember. What the fuck are all those? What the fuck? No, well, I don't know. Let's keep this train going here. We're almost done. Saints Row 4. Again, I love the Saints Row fucking... Now, here you go. What many of you won't remember from years before the goddamn uh, PlayStation 4s and recent Elder Scrolls... Uh, the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim was on the Xbox 360. Skyrim has been around for a minute. There's Grand Theft Auto 3, the Xbox collection. Again, looks like something fucking chewed on it. I appreciate, I appreciate the Xs pets for enjoying snacking on my fucking shit. Batman Lego, the video game. Love that one. I'm going to skip a few. Oh, here's another Oblivion. Here's a Saints Row 1. Here is an Ultimate Genesis collection. This had, I didn't say. 
Well, I had a lot of old Genesis games. Doesn't have the names back here. I'd run some through you. At this point, I'm just trying to uh, show you the entirety of what I have here. Sega GT 2002. It was like a, I want to say a Gran Turismo ripoff and Jet Set Radio. That fucking was a great, great, great game. Now this one, underrated, I loved it. Armed and Dangerous. It was a comedy fucking uh, action game. Now here's the Namco Museum. You got your Dig Dugs and your Pac-Mans and all that shit on there. Those are a couple. Oh, love this one. Legacy of Cain. It's a good vampire game. There's some Tony Hawk. Ninja... Is it Gaiden or Gaiden? Well, Ninja Gaiden, I'm going to call it Black. This game was awesome because you can unlock the original arcade Ninja Gaiden. If you're old enough to recall, Ninja Gaiden was a fucking awesome arcade game. Well, it was a, when it came out, it was an awesome arcade game. You could do all kinds of flips and shit and swing on fucking poles and do drop kicks and kick the shit out of fucking assholes. Three times your size, literally. I hope you're not here to see my balls or super witty commentary. This is a trip down memory lane. Commandos 2. I like this one. I, it's it's a, one of those ones you gotta... It's super involved. You gotta... All kinds of controls and shit. Trivial Pursuit. If you don't know Trivial Pursuit, then you're a trivial asshole. Outlaw Golf. Uh, blockbuster exclusive. Just a golf game with some TNA. Which is tits and ass. Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Which, goddamn, something's eating the top of it. Jesus Christ. You got Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. You got Gauntlet. You got Spy Hunter 2. You got Narc. I like Narc. You got APB. Primal Rage. Arch Rivals. That was basketball, I believe. Rampage World Tour. Total Carnage. I believe to be the sequel to... What was the one? Uh... Oh shit, well I can't remember now. Smash TV. I think. Evil Dead Regeneration. That's a good one. You got uh, Ash. Ash and his little person. Sidekick, which you could like kick into shit. And one a lot of people regard as one of the greats. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I liked it. I did both the Light Path and the Dark Path. We're almost there, folks. Blood Omen 2, a Legacy of Kane game. I like that one. Dead to Rights, I started, I don't think I got anywhere. I fell off. The Simpsons Road Bridge. This was the first time. There was like a, I noticed there was an unlockable on specific holidays. If you never check this out, there are unlockables on like Christmas and Halloween and shit. That was new to me. Yeah. NHL Hockey 2002. Don't recall ever buying that one. Don't recall ever playing it. This one was Full Spectrum Warrior was made by the U.S. military, developed, developed by the U.S. Army to be a training tool to uh, Army soldiers, and I, they put it out. I guess it's somewhat authentic. I tried Siberia. It's like that, uh, that game Mist way back in the day. 
like a kind of a point and click. You got to solve problems and shit here. We're down to the last. I'll show you the last one. Rumble Roses. Uh, a female fighting game. Just a bunch of, in the infancy of video game jiggly titties. You wanted to see, well, you were in your 20s. You wanted to see jiggly titties in a video game. That was your hookup. So that is the extent of my Xbox and Xbox 360 collection. And my brief synopsis on each. Once I get this power brick and they say Monday, I might go back and check some of these out. A lot of good video game memories. And maybe next time I'll pull some shit out even older and show you some of them. That was that. A little dusty. If you're a retro gamer or you're someone who's into gaming now and you want to go back and find some old shit that might be cool, I hope that helped you out. As you can see, I can be informative as well as just all over the fucking map or sleeping or chopping the shit down. Trip down memory lane. I really don't have anything more after that. I'm going to fucking work on this beer. Make a nice... I got sub bread tonight. Make a nice sub sandwich. Just want to check in and say hi with y'all. That's about it. We'll see how this goes. If you like watching retro video games, I'll do more. I got plenty more in the vault. If you don't, I won't. Y'all have a great night. Supposed to get down to below freezing here again. Another fucking Arctic blast. Yay nature. Uh, hope you're staying warm and safe where you are. And as always, and with respect, I'm ready to have my sub. As I walk out of frame, I love y'all and peace bitches.